Here we go with part two of Horace by Suetonius. Post sermons, vero quos dem lectos. Okay, <clears throat> so the vero would be but, but after quos dem, certain sermons, which are talks, or here we're talking about satires, or lectos, the past passive. So this has been um, read, it says here, so with certain of these um, satires read. Nullem sui mentionem. That no mention sui of him, this is Augustus, habitum ita sit questus. Should he have uh, thus or so in this questus? Questus, there's a couple of different ways you can use questus. It can be a fourth declension, which means complaint, or a past passive, which means uh, a complaint or a lament as well. <coughs> My voice is a bit hoarse because it's New Year's and my throat was pretty um, roughed up. Skito, future im. Imperative. Uh, know that me oraski tibi. Uh, know that I'm angry with you, to you, towards you. Um, quad, because not in plerisque eos modi scriptis, um, in this way, in your writings, uh, with me, mecum, laquaris. So we've got non and laquaris going here. So you don't seem to want to speak uh, most preferably, participum with me, in um, Pleuriscree, is that going with script? So anyway, in, in, this, in these uh, lots of writing, Pleuriscree can be adjectives and nouns and all sorts of things. The uh, low breeding has got, you prefer, you don't want to talk with me, but rather with others, so you can take that if you want. And means uh, whether or not, verus nay, uh, it's verb of fearing, so ut ne inverted. Whether do you fear that apud posteros, so um, amongst the people who live in the future and posterity, tibi sit, it should be to you infame. Uh, you'll be infamous or notorious or something. Um, do you fear that quite because vidaris, um, you seem familiaris nobis essay. But he seems that familiar with Caesar, so is he fearing that if he mentions Caesar's name, it's going to seem that he's too ingratiated with him, or on these familiar terms? We see that there was a quotation from Caesar, Augustus. So, and qui, and he would express his eclogam, this is an excerpt or an eclog. Uh, so he'd forced it out or pushed it out uh, towards himself. We're guessing that would be Caesar again. Cuis initium s, of which this is the initium. This is the beginning. A little bit of scrolling. So we have another uh, quote. Cum tot sustinias, when so much you sustain at tanta negotia and such business or trouble, solus alone. So, res italis. Italis is an adjective. It can be an as a um of the first and second. Um, lots. So, matters are Italian, or Italian matters. Tutiris armus, you safeguard or watch over them with arms. Uh, ornes, that means you decorate or ornate or furnish with the moribuses, which are, you know, the manners of the time and the um, customs. Emendes legibus, you make amendments to the laws. I don't know what's a capital L, but it just is. I think in the original... These are the start of a new line. That'd be the second line. This would be the third line. And the C here would be the fourth line. In public, uh, comada pecem. So I'm sinning basically in the public good or conveniences. C, longo sermon. Or if in a long sermon or speech, more I should delay uh, to a temporary your time. Caesar, uh, vocative Caesar. So that's another short quote. Habitu corporis fuit brevis equi obesis. So in his outward appearance, his habitu of his body, corporis, fuit he was, brevis and obese. So obese is fat, having fat, and brevis in upper human would be short of stature in his external appearance. Qualis, uh, of which type, et, uh, also a seminipso by himself, um, he described in satires so he, this is the way he described himself in satires at so we have another source and by Augustus Hacopistia in this epistle pertulated ad me Onesius so Onesius has per ferro tuli latust 
His uh, brought this to me. And what did he bring? A libellum to him, your little book. Quem, which ego ut, I as an excusionem, or apology or an excuse, Quantus cum qui est, in the cum qui family. Uh, Quantus is how great, the diminutive quantulus is how small. Uh, cum qui just means however much, so however much small it is. Uh, boni consulo, um, in good counsel or something, or um, for its part it was good, something like that. So Anisius brought to him the little book, which in this form of an excuse or apology, however small it was, it was boni in um, consult to him. Vereri or temi videreris. So, however, moreover, so me to me. So however to me, videris, you seem, taking the infinitive, to fear, it's a verb, a, a, Verb of fearing, ut near and So you seem to fear that libelli too. I sent these uh, little books of yours are maiores, a larger quam than ipsi as you are yourself. So it doesn't the same that his um, books are bigger than he himself. So obviously it's a joke. <clears throat> Said tibi statura ds. Ds has a couple of different spellings. Sometimes you see it without that e. Um, it just means lacking. But to you, stature is lacking, but non ds not lacking, is your corpusculum, which is a neuter diminutive of corpus, your little body. It's also used for atoms and things. But your statura might be lacking, but not your, maybe your, your fattiness, because he's described as obesos. <coughs> Itaqui, and so, lick a bit, a future of an imper, uh, impersonal. Uh, you, you would be able to, scribes, write in a sextario, um, I'll leave that for now. Ut, so that the circuitous volumus to I sit, ogkados or something in Greek, uh, the circuitous, this is sometimes used as the watch of the city going around or just going around or the circumference or something. So that the circumference of your volumes, to I, volumus to I, your volumes, um, it will be this, whatever the hell that is. I'll look up in a minute. Sikut, just as ventriculo to, just as your belly. Okay, so he's sitting. He's allowed to sit in some place while he writes. So the circuitous, uh, the circumference of his volume, is that just as it, of his belly. So it's still playing on his corpusculum and his obesusness. Okay, so this Greek thing means rounded out, apparently. So I can be allowed that you write in your sextariolo, so that the uh, circumference of your volumes may be well rounded, just as your own belly is. And a daily dictionary. A sextariologist is a small vase with a sextarium in it. And sextarium. As you see, pints. I go through various dictionaries of them. Here are the common ones that I use, sextariums. Can be dry or liquid measure. Okay, so that was that story. Um, Ad res veniares. In temperantio, comparative, tra, traditor. As it's handed down. Okay, so it was handed down to matters of Venus or venereal things. He was rather in temporio. Uh, it was to do with his restraint for a speculato cubicle, for in a cubicle, which is a room with, uh, this comes from speculum, I'm guessing, the mirror. It is said, dicatello, scorters, scortums, uh, prostitutes basically, or escorts. Um, he had said he had them deposited, placed down or set out. Ut, so that quo, to wherever, here we have our cumqui again. We had a cumqui earlier, where was it? Up there somewhere, Qantas cum, cumqui, whatever type of little size that was. And this one down here, where, where was I? Uh, to wherever, wherever he respects it, so wherever he looked or inspected, it be there, EI, to him, refer it to, to Imigo Coitus. There he'd see an image of Coitus. Vic said he lived, plurimum adverb, mostly, in successive, another fourth. We had Coitus, as you know, when I said an image, in an image of Coitus, only the fourth declensions can have genitives in the US. 
So here he lived in the Risa, in, in retreat or something like that, in um in the countryside, Rurus, or in his countryside estate, Sui Rurus. And we have two places, Sabini or Tibetini. Uh, Eos Domus, and his house, Ostendator, is shown, Kirka, the preposition, around, that shouldn't be an I, it should be an L, a Luculum, which is a grove, a little grove, Tiberni. So this looks like it's made from the same place as that. And we have a lacuna. Okay, after the lacuna, venerant in Manus Meus et Elegy. So elegies, if you know what they are, they have venerunted, they have come. This is a fourth. It doesn't have the eye in it when it goes like that. They've come into my hands et also, or two elegies have come into my hands. Subtitulo is under his own name, um, or in his titles, and... Epistola in prose oration, in prose writing, letter, letters, quasi as if, commendantes say, com uh, entrusting himself or introducing himself to Machinati. What was his name in English? It was um, Messinus, anyway. Said, but, Ultracre, both of these, Puto, I think, comes from the word for uh, pruning as well besides thinking you I suppose you prune your thoughts if you want to remember it uh, but I think both of these are false or fake Nam elegy vulgares for the elegies are vulgares which are published amongst common people it's uh, uh, epistles etiam even obscure so the letters even obscure quo video by which vice minime leastly uh he would leastly hold or use this, th hold these types of vice. Um, so that's why he's thinking that these are possibly not his and they're false because it looks like everyone had the elegies and the letter was holding some um, vices which he didn't normally use. Natus asks the usual formula, six edus December, six days before the Ides of December. Here are our consuls in the ablative, as usual, with uh, Cotter and Torquano as consuls. Uh, Decessor, so he's deceased on the 5th calendar of December. That's the five days before the calendar of December. And it looks like, yep, with ablative, these other guys. Um, Sensorio and Gallo were consuls. Post, Nonum and Quagwacentum Diem. What's this? So it's like uh, 59 days. Post quam has been split afterwards. Machinus Obiect. This is his obituary or something. He's died 59 days after this other guy died. Um, Agans, his age, he was, this is the age he currently was when he died. Uh, Septem and Quingagisamenum, which would be 57 years old, with an ablative slab with um, Augustus, his heir, Parlam, the adverb, uh, Nucumpados, taking up the ablative again. With it announced openly that his heir was Augustus, cum urgente V, when he was pressed on or urged by the force of his valetudinous, of his sickness, he was non sufficient to ad obsidigandos, that's the gerundive, to signing the tables of the testament. So he couldn't um, make his own will and testament because of the force of his sick sickness, which was pressing. Humatus in conditices, so he was put in the ground and covered over at the extremus of the Esquilius, which is a hill, Yuxta, next to the Tumulum Machinus, the burial mound of Machinatus, Machinus. That's it, the end.